with a fun little diversion. Oh, side quest galore. This game, seriously. I think the worst part of the side quest doesn't really give you any much of anything, unfortunately. Well, this one did. This one gives you books. I don't know that will be of any significance, but it is cool, I guess. Oh. This place is really dreadful to travel, to be perfectly honest. It's just too big. It's a massive complex. Oh. You can't enter. This is the Shenguang Dian or the Big Dipper. Oops, nope. I forgot what constellation this corresponds to. Oops. I've kind of went around. I'll probably want to go to the fast travel and try the students' quarters. Yeah, Shenguang Palace, I don't know how to print that, should I say? I don't either, so we'll just call it the Shenguang Palace too. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm very familiar. I remember this area from the previous game. Check all the selves in the disciples' rooms. You got it. Found something. Yay! That's the golden pill. I think that, um, resurrection. It's a, re it's a resurrection pill. Very useful. Because those things are kind of rare. That's fine. It allowed us to heal ourselves. Oh. Oh, I see. You... <laughs> you flipped through the book upon the shelf. And you found some cards. Oh, we have the card of Chang Xu Changqing. And the card of Jing Tian. The two, two of the main characters in Legend of Sword Fairy 3. Uh, silk, silk threads, and red bronze uh, ore, and the fire stone. Uh, whatever. This is like a book about seeding monsters. All. It's like a refinement thing. It's like a for synthesis, but I don't care. I'm like, eh, no, no. It's a recipe for synthesis. Coagulating heart incense? Forgot what that does. There's a chest here. Uh, incense. Some kind of stone. Black stones. Uh, Zishen herbs. Uh, red ore. I don't care about that. Ooh, that is not a love. Oh, this is this is indeed Shoe Mountain. Even in the kitchen, they they have these kind of things. Oh yeah, it's the peach. Uh, that's the honey soup. Uh, 
flipping through people's people's pillows. Oh, that would be very good. So he's just saying, I don't want to flip through these pillows. What, you have scruples now after stealing so much? Already? Oh, Jing Shen, you're so inconsistent. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And now you're concerned about- I know, I'm like... You already got so much stuff. What are you talking about? Oh, Chonglo. Interesting. I think it's the plant, right? Yeah. Uh, green stone. Oh, uh, some incense. Ba Ba I think that's also herb. Y'all, I know actually, it's like, yeah, their names are all from uh, herbs from Legend Sword and Fairy 3. That's why those herbs you're based off of are showing up. Sorry, all the love. Like, oh, it's not very exciting to go through all this. But let's go to the pill room now. I think I'm done ransacking. I've sacked enough as it is. Okay. a bit of main story, yep. Let's hear some stuff. Yeah, ransacking shoe mountain is actually very dreadful. It's just too big. Oh. Uh, how do I say this name? But I don't know what the first one is. That's a uh, hun or I have to check or chong or I actually don't know how to say her name. Y'all, your very uh, exotic names. Hun. Okay. Okay. Cool. So this is Hun Ruo Shi, and she says, Ah, Shi Jie Lingbo, or like it's her old senior. Hmm. Indeed. 若师，这几位是我在江湖上结识的好友，他们来蜀山是有事想拜访曹古师伯，不知师伯线下是否方便？宁波 <笑> says, 若师, these are all my uh, friends I've I met while I was down in the world. I see, they have come to Shu Mountain for <coughs> to ask 曹古师, uh, 师伯曹古 about about a certain matter. Uh, Shibo is, of course, like her master's fellow disciple. Is Shibo present, right? Or let's say, is, is, would it be, that be convenient for, or let's see, what's the best way to put this? Would it be convenient for Shibo to meet right now? I had to change it to something that makes sense in English. Shijie, you've arrived at the right time. Shifu, Shifu just came, was just the master, just came back from picking herbs. Right now, she is in the f within the house, within the room. I will go get. Uh, I'll go inform her now for you. Thank you very much, Shimei. Her, someone who's lower seniority. Uh oh, hopefully that means we can come in. Oh good. Ruo Shi says, Shi Jie, Shi Fu asks you all, uh, welcomes you to come inside. And Ling Bo says, 
thank you very much, Sumei. Or she, it literally means like, I've bothered you, Sumei, but I had to make it sound normal in English. Thank you for going through the trouble with whatever I could have said to. Oh, right. So it's Chaoku in her full form rather than it, uh, her mini form. Her cursed form. <sighs> Xia says, Wow, she's so beautiful! Ningbo says, <laughs> uh, Okay, how do I say this in English? <laughs> Let's see. Or I'll just put in something that's roughly about what she's saying. It, it, it's just a formal way of saying, like, I am meeting you, but it sounds very weird in English. It is good to see you. In actuality, the translation would be like, Your student, Lingbo, or like, the, the, the disciple, not your disciple, because she's not the, her direct, uh, her direct, she doesn't report directly to her. Like, as you, uh, the disciple, Lingbo, see, uh, meets, Sibo Chaogu, but it sounds very weird in English. Oh, okay. Chaku says, The both of you sisters from when you were young have all have been studying my eh, have been studying medicinal arts together with eh, here with here in my place. Listen, you are not outsiders. Why did you ask Ruo Si to to inform me, to call on me? I was just afraid to inter that we would interrupt your refining of medicine, Sibo. Mm. You, uh, you have you have always been uh, uh, let's see. You have always been very thorough about doing uh, thorough about doing things. And these are Tao is Chaogu. I am Xia Hou Jingxuan. Oh, Xia Hou is the master of the Oh, the young master of the Xia Hou fam fat noble family. That these two young men, I think, are the Xia Hou and the Mu Hou. Then these two young. Uh, these two ladies, they must be Miss Xia and Miss Mu, right? Correct? Uh, how did you know? Could you have used some kind of heart, uh, mind reading technique or some other technique like that? No. Anyway, Chaogu says, let's see, there is no such tech, so such mind reading techniques among the immortal uh, art, oh, sorry, there is no mind reading art among the immortal arts. It, let's see, it is just that earlier I heard some of my subordinate, <laughs> some, like, uh, let's, uh, like, subordinate disciples speak about but how all let's see speak speak about how all of you did killed a monster in the Zhejian mountain village right about the ice monster then about <laughs> about a person being injured when during the let's see during the sword appraisal convention Daoist do you know about uh, do you know about it Ah, have you come here because of that matter? Indeed. Right, To tell you the truth, the person... <laughs> 
the Jiang Cheng who injured who injured the person is my is my close friend. But now, uh, but now he is in uh, being falsely accused as the as the culprit who uh, as the murder culprit. I see, and also because some uh, disciples of Shu Mountain. Uh, affirm that he is a a mod. Let's see. I know I'm trying to like wrap this around. And, <laughs> and because the students, uh, disciples of Shu Mountain, affirm that he is a uh, monster, now his crime has been said to be beyond dispute. Yeah. <laughs> 绝非肆意杀人的妖魔。蜀山派为名门正派，还望道长能够主持正义，还将成一个清白。Right. Anyway, Taoist, I am very, uh, I know Jiang Cheng very well. At that uh, moment, it was just he had merely in, entered a state of qi deviation and lost, and lost control. He is not so. Uh, a monster who will wantonly kill humans. Let's see. The Shu Mountain sect is indeed a is an upright sect. It's a famous and upright sect. Like righteous and influential, maybe. I think that's right. An influential sect. I guess upright and <coughs> righteous, maybe. <laughs> we could use that too. So I hope that <coughs> Taoist that you will be able to uphold justice and prove Jiang Cheng's innocence. Ooh. I guess we should get, I guess, <laughs> the wonton kill. No, don't kill the wontons. Oh, actually, they're, you can't kill them, they're food. I understand your feeling. Only the Lin Yin two people are not in the Shu Shan, can be 姿势体大,我也不能只听信你一面之词. Anyway, Chao Gu says, I understand how you feel. It is just that Tie Bi and Li Ying, the both of them, are not on Shu Mountain at present. So there is no way we can ask, inquire. Let's see. This matter is, all, is a, 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 this is matter is a serious one. I cannot just... <laughs> I cannot just hear it, only hear about it merely from your from one from your own let's see. No how do I say this? I cannot just hear about this matter merely from your side alone. Is basically what she said. Then Daoist, may I ask, how long will it be till they return? Oh. See. By command of Qing Shi, of, of the my city Qing Shi, they have gone to Chenzhou, uh, the area around Chenzhou to dis to destroy monsters. I do not. No one knows when they will return. Oh.既然如此，那我们就在蜀山附近住下吧。这两个人总有一天要回来吧。Changlan says, since that is the case, then we should just live near Shu oh, let's see. Live near uh, we should just stay nearby Shu Mountain. These two those two people must return at some point. If we come here every day, we should be able to run into him eventually. I suppose that is all we can do. 几位倒不必另寻居所，可先在蜀山暂住。过几日带他二人回山，我自会派弟子通知你们。Okay, says, all of you, there is no, uh, there is no need for all of you to go find a, a place to stay. Let's see, find a place to reside. Let's see, you can stay, t you can stay in Shu Mountain temporarily. After, let's see. After a some, uh, after a few days, and once you once let's see, 
Once some time has passed and the two and the two of them have returned to Shu Mountain, I will then send some disciples to inform you. <sighs> it's so much. I make it sound so nice. <laughs> Lingbo? <laughs> Li Ying is your biological sister. And also the <laughs> these are your are and these also happen to be your friends. So I leave you to take care of them <laughs> them while they are here in Shu Mountain. Oh poor Lingbo. Yes. Oh, Shibo, there is also another matter. This Miss uh, This Miss Xia has uh, suffers from a strange condition. Uh, let's see. Would you be able to uh, be able to examine her? Oh, oh a strange condition. I know. I hope they can figure out something out here. Let's see. Xiaohou and the others were uh, described Miss Xia uh, described Xia's uh, illness or elaborated. It's very weird, huh? Xiao Gongya. Chaku says, <coughs> Young lady, from where are you, are you from? Ah? Uh, uh, so, uh, you're asking where I came from? Why would the Taoist. Why would the Taoist Chaogu ask Miss Xia about her her birthplace? Because I was very young when I Because I left my homeland from with my father with my father when I was very young very young that's why as to what place it was I don't remember but it should be a small village around nearby Mingzhou hmm. Miss could you come here and smell this <laughs> this object Ah, uh, all right. Whoa. Whoa, what is that? Miss Xia? sis, what's wrong? Uh, so it truly was the case. It is, it is exactly as I thought. Do you feel a little better now? Xia says, oh, Just now, what happened? When I, the moment I smelled that... Uh, that thing, I felt dizzy. Shibo, this is what is Shibo, uh, what is this? What is going on? Oh. oh, snap. That's all I'm going to. Oh, wait. Also, I'm gonna make sure I I'm like you've been invaded by one, but okay, it is invaded. Cool. I'm not crazy. I'm not going nuts. Just making sure. Chaogu says, You are not sick, but your body has been 
invaded by the demonic aura. Ooh. Or been uh, attacked by the demonic aura. Oh, shoot. That's bad. Everyone's in shock. Yeah, I'd be shocked too. She's really trying to be calm. Dawes, Dawes, would you, could you please explain it in detail? Oh. Right. Malevolent Chi. Malevolence. We'll take it from Zest Details. Yeah, I'll make it easier. I kind of think Malevolent Chi is a mouthful. Chaogu says, Over 10 years ago, Sun <laughs> in Shenzhou, there was suddenly a great mo a great, a gi giant earthquake. It caused the, the well of God. Let's see. Sorry. It caused the malevolence of the demon. <laughs> it's caused some of the malevolence from the demon realm in the well of gods and demons to enter the human realm. Let's see, this young lady's village must have been one of the places that was that was a victim of the of that event. Chat dead. Uh oh. Oh, that's weird. No, yeah, I still see it. Let's see. Jing Xuan says, The Well of Gods and Demons? We have already been there in that place, but in the previous game. The Well of Gods and Demons? I did read about this in the I did see that in the book inside in my house. It I've heard that it has something to do with the seals of the six realms. Oh, this fear for a moment. Oh, that was weird. And the six realms are well, we talked about it already. But we can Oh yeah, that's right. I never would have thought that within your home <laughs> home, Mr. Shaho, that there would be a that would be Dao scriptures about um Shuji is like uh Or sorry, that would <laughs> that would be eight <laughs> Taoist scriptures that involve the six realms. You are correct. Let's see. You could say that the well of gods and demons is a passageway. Oh. Let's see. There are seals on each of the six realms, so that way. <laughs> Which makes it impossible to go in and out freely. But if you go through the well of gods and demons, you can go <laughs> in or out at, as you wish. Right, let's see. Oh, Earth Meridians, I remember these. When these Earth Meridians, <laughs> Earth Meridians move, Sometimes it can make it so that there will be rifts within the. Oh, sorry. Or I guess like when the Earth Meridians are unstable, sometimes it can cause the rifts to appear between between the six realms. If it just so happens to, uh, let's see. If it just so happens that the rift is close by to the demon realm, then it could make. It might cause the some of the malevolence from the demon realm to leak out. Oh shoot! Let's see. If the uh, let's see, if one who lives in the or like if the spirit like if a human is absorbs the the malevolence from the demon realm. At the very lightest, their body will experience change. Will transform. Yeah, body will transform. At worst, they may perish. Oh my. Is that what happened to Jiangsheng? It probably did. Uh, 